ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the man entering the ring right now, the ultimate fighting champion, and I tell you what, a Sherman tank isn't put together the way this man is. Talking about Brad Kohler, this is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen, a bona fide tough guy in that ring, and dangerous Darren, or dazzling Darren, or dancing Darren, whatever he wants to be, he might be dismembered Darren by the end of the evening. Take a look at Brad Kohler and you'll see why he's going to be such a great professional wrestler. He's got the look. He's built low. He's compact. He's got that low center of gravity. And just like Ken Shamrock, he's coming into the sport with a championship caliber material already. Well, what I don't understand as we look at Brad Kohler is why in the world all of a sudden we are being flanked by Dobie and Maynard, the mass jungle fighter and the beatnik. Jungle fighter, of course, wrestled early on. And a tremendous miscue on the part of the beatnik, throwing powder right in front of the referee, a real genius. Oh, shit, I didn't throw no powder. You always blame me for having a cane, having something. I didn't use anything except the expertise in my noggin right here. Well, the one thing I wish you had that you don't is a terminal illness. I'm going down and scout out this punk that calls him. Would you two get out of here? We got two guys making their pro debut here tonight, and they don't need you around the ring. Dangerous Darren Davis out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. We have seen this man in action a few times. Generally a scientific wrestler. I don't know what in the world his attitude is all about tonight. And in the person of Brad Kohler, you talk about some of the toughest men on the planet. You, you know, you can talk about all the hype in pro wrestling. We're being very serious, ladies and gentlemen. This guy, if you're in a bar fight, he better be on your side. And he could probably take care of 15, 20 guys at once. If he's in a bar fight, I don't even want to be in the building. Working on dangerous Darren Davis, and I do not understand the presence of the beatnik right at ringside and the jungle fighter next to us. Oh! Kohler too smart there as Darren Davis went for the drop down, and Kohler points to his head and up, and he's on top of it right now with a very punishing maneuver. That knee into the small of the back, actually between the shoulder blades there. Yep. Submission style, fist fights, he'll do it any way you want to do it. Now, Mick, what a lot of people don't know about the UFC is there's a lot of different styles of fighting within that. I don't know. What is this guy's discipline? Well, you know what? To be perfectly honest with you, I don't know. And I, and I guess in terms of doing homework, all I know is I tried to get an interview with him a little bit earlier on, and all he said to me was, Mick, you let my actions in the ring do the talking. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now as Darren Davis... At this point, dangerous Darren Davis. You're absolutely right. We stand corrected. Dangerous Darren Davis has to be really second-guessing himself, signing on for a match against this, this brick building known as Brad Kohler. Brad, of course, scheduled to go to Japan very, very soon. He's got several dates booked here in the upper Midwest to wrestle before he goes to Japan. Oh, my God, this is a, this is a human wrecking ball. He is. Well, he looks like he could step into the, the ring tonight with somebody like the one-man gang and come out on the winning side. And the jungle fighter and the beatnik are shaking their heads. They, the beatnik actually had the audacity to say that he sees nothing in Brad Kohler. How would you like to see the beatnik in there with the ultimate fighting machine? I'd love to see that. Throw the jungle fighter in for good measure. It's against me, punk. Well, now the jungle fighter is giving us heat for heaven's sake. Isn't there a tree you can climb? A branch? A vine? Good grief. Between the four eyes, there ain't even two. Don't start talking about four eyes. You haven't watched that mass since the turn of the century. The top prospect? Yeah, this is a top prospect. That's right. Ah, oh, you don't think so. You're an idiot. Oh, dangerous Darren Davis, who actually does have some technical skills about him. And at this point in time, I guess I'm very surprised. Perhaps Brad Kohler took Davis a little lightly here. Well, you saw it. Darren Davis took a low shot. He took a shot to the crotch, and that's what turned this match around in his favor. And as I said at the outset, that's very unusual, very unlike Darren Davis to take that kind of a shortcut. But apparently somebody got to him. He's doing a pretty good job. Well, the jungle fighter is uh, is a big fan of Darren Davis, figures that he's got the edge over Brad Kohler, and you know that's the kiss of death. Anytime the jungle fighter bets on you, you're in deep, deep doo-doo. I understand he had a lot of money down on the Packers for the Super Bowl. He had a lot of money down on the Vikings for the Super Bowl. Four times. <laughs> Four times this year alone. 
Wrestling America action coming to you from the Crystal Community Center at 48th and Douglas Drive, just about six blocks off of uh, Bass Lake Road and West Broadway, all the fast food haunts that have Chris Dady wings set up in virtually every locale. No, 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 Chris Dady rooms Al Pabon wings. Dangerous Darren Davis. Again, surprisingly, now perhaps it is the style difference. You know, you talked about the discipline of Brad Kohler. Perhaps it is the style. Maybe he's been confused here by Darren Davis and this pro wrestling technique. Well, you don't know what his discipline is. He's coming into a pro wrestling match, and unfortunately, a lot of athletes from other sports have trouble stepping into the squared circle, and that might be what's happening to Brad Kohler here tonight. You know, that's a great point. You know, we've seen the transition that a lot of football players have made, soccer players, bodybuilders, and it takes a while before you get acclimated to the style and the precision, the, the smoothness, if you will, the, the ebb and flow of a wrestling match. And right now, the ultimate fighting champion, is in. he's in trouble. Well, he certainly is. He's being beaten down by this. Uh, I, I've never seen this uh, Darren Davis before. You said that. You've seen him before, right? He has taken it to a former UFC champion, Brad Kohler. Well, you know, no matter how big and how tough you are, if you sustain that injury... Wait a second now, Kohler! Oh! Kohler with a tremendous show of strength there. Grabbed the boot of Darren Davis and just powered him back. Now on one leg, tries to follow up here, the clubbing forearm to the back. Again, this is an ultimate fighting champion, so Darren Davis might be in some... Oh, my God! Oh, gee whiz! Oh, he went over the top just like that. But Brad Kohler is hurt. He came to the ring tonight with only one knee pad, and I think that he's paying for that now. Well, dangerous Darren Davis had the starch taken out of him there with that suplex over the top and now if Kohler and look at this now Davis is actually trying to hammer back and go tooth and nail with an ultimate fighting chair oh what a great maneuver that drop toe hold oh he's got them all wrapped up that's it forget about it ladies and gentlemen here is your winner as a result of a submission Brad Kohler well Brad Kohler Ultimate fighting champion. It took him a while to get untracked here against dangerous Darren Davis. But once he did, it was that devastating suplex over the top and into that cross face and toe hold combination. The submission was immediate. Darren Davis on the short end of the stick. I want him. And now the Shy Town thug, for heaven's sake, standing behind us. He's pointing to the ring at Brad Kohler. He wants him. The jungle fighter wants him. I'll tell you who doesn't. Wait a minute now. Wait a second now, the jungle fighter and the beatnik challenging Brad Kohler, and Kohler says, you're next. He kicks Davis out of the way like yesterday's newspaper. Well, you know, the, the, this repartee is going back and forth here. I know that the beatnik and the jungle fighter, well, I won't say that they have sense enough to stay out of the ring, but at least this time they are going to live to fight for a, a, another day here against the ultimate fight champ, Brad Kohler.